guys, I'm Manpreet and I make book related videos on this channel. If you like books, need some book recommendations or want to catch up with the latest book related news, then keep watching my videos. Make sure you subscribe and turn your notifications on so that you get updated on notifications whenever I upload a new video. A lot of you keep asking me to tell you about the latest book releases and I have been working on that kind of videos and I have made videos in past which were solely about the latest book releases. I will link them down in the description box below. And today's video is also about the latest books that have released in the past few days. So without further ado, let's get started with this video. I'm going to tell you mostly about the new releases by Indian authors. There's one by a foreign author but mostly by Indian authors, okay? Before I actually begin, know that I'm not recommending any of these books to you guys. I'm just telling you about the latest releases. I feel like all of you who actually are subscribed to me, you find it very obvious, but then there are still some people who comment like, how can you talk about this book? It's so pathetic. Dude, I haven't read it. I'm just telling you it's going to be released or it just released. And why are you accusing me? Anyway, I'm done with my funny voices, which again, people hate. Do anything which people don't hate. But book number one is In the Name of God by Ravi Subramanyam. Ravi Subramanyam is like one of the most popular thriller writers in India. I have The Bankster by him. Never read it but heard great things about it. And this book is a crime thriller novel once again. This is Sacred Temple where dead bodies are turning up in the pond. And seriously, I said this line like 10 times to pronounce all the words correctly. It was like a tongue twister. There's a jewelry heist that leads to a massive smuggling racket. There are bomb blasts in Mumbai. And these events may be connected. The CBI director Kabir is investigating all these events and we have to see what unfolds thereafter. That is what this book is about. I've heard great things about it. All the authors are talking about it and it's very rare to find Indians supporting Indians. So awesome, awesome. I have heard great things about this book and I am going to buy it soon and read it soon. What about you? Number two book is Harappa, The Curse of Blood River by Vineet Bajpai. It was released on June 9, 2017. There's a secret buried in Banaras around the Dev Rakshas Mat. There's a horrifying truth behind the fall of Harappan civilization. On the other side, in Paris, there are several events taking place. A lethal assassin is unleashed and a prophesied Devta is back. And somehow, these all are connected. How? You have to find it out by reading this book. Okay, I promise I'm not going to try to be this kind of artificially dramatic in the next books. Okay, promise. Okay, so number third book that would be released on 26th of July, 2017. If you're watching this video after that, it's already released. Is A Story Needs No Filter by Sudeep Nagarkar. A lot of you have been asking me to read his books. I have never read them. I do own, I think, two copies. I feel like I still have one other is lost, but I'll tell you what this book is about. This book is about a studious guy, Raghu, who falls in love with a girl named Ruhi. Now, Raghu is in a serious problem and his friends are trying to get him out of it, but he keeps falling deeper into this socio-political scenario around him. And the story is about the dark relationships and the pursuit to power. Number four book was released on July 5, which is the one from the stars by Keshav Anil. Now, I do own one book by this author and he is being published by Srishti Publishers, which is like I have told on this channel before. I feel like their books are always really good. And I'll tell you what this book is about. It's about a guy whose passion lies in writing, but his parents are pushing him to take up a government job, aka every Indian unfortunate guy. And he has OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder. And now he's very lonely because all his loved ones have left his side. And it's his story of falling down and getting up again with and dealing with this mental illness he has. Number fifth book was released on July 7, which is the Hanuman Chalisa by Devdutt Patnaik. Again, a very, very popular and talked about Indian author and praised Indian author. And in this book, the author demystifies this Haim Hanuman Chalisa and Sankalpita from Book Geeks India. I think she has reviewed this book, so I would recommend you guys to check it out. I'll also link her channel's uh, video down below so that you can check it out. I haven't watched the video myself. I'm sorry about that because I don't watch reviews before I do my own if I plan to read a book. But if you guys want to see how this book is, you can 
you know listen to her video as well and see that number 6 book was released on july 15 which is pregnancy notes by rujuta divekar now i have talked about rujuta divekar on the channel i own two of her books one audio book and one proper book and i really love the kind of advice she gives about fitness having proper nutrition and everything and this book is specifically for you know pregnant women and rujuta divekar is like a coach for a lot of famous bollywood celebrities as well especially kareena kapoor which is the most talked about and i feel like her advice is something really worth having and if you know somebody who is pregnant in your house or if you are pregnant if you are a woman and you are pregnant then you can read this book maybe and the last latest release that i'm going to tell you about is not by any author it's by john grisham i kind of like this author very much i have read one book by him but i don't remember which one i read it was in 11th standard i have no idea what i read and which book i read but he usually writes legal thrillers but nowadays his books are kind of a uh, different kind of thrillers and this book which was released on june 19 is camino island i hope that's how you pronounce the name the plot is based around the stolen manuscripts of f scott fitzgerald's books novels and they are very very expensive and costly and valuable and nobody has a clue where they are now but these will obviously surface and on the other hand there is a budding author who is being asked to go to camino island and you know get accustomed and get um, acquainted with this particular person that's what the rough plot of the book is um i feel like thrillers are something which you should go into without knowing much about them obviously obviously i don't feel like that it's very obvious so yeah. yes that's it these are the seven new releases which i feel like were worth enough to be mentioned don't feel like if i missed some book it means i don't like it enough or i don't want i didn't want to include it in the video maybe i don't know about it or maybe i just didn't include it in video for some reason but these are the ones which i thought i should tell you guys about so i hope you enjoyed watching this video i hope it gave you some idea about what new books are releasing and it helps you select some new books for yourself if they do do hit a thumbs up and share this video with your friends it will be really helpful to me as well as you know to the authors also they are, they are so popular they don't really need at least my videos shares but still but still you can share my video to actually support me right thank you so much for watching this video this is Nandvi signing off i'll be back with another video very soon